Multiple sclerosis was first described by Jean-Martin Charcot in 1868, and we think of it as a modern disease. But historical reports of mysterious medical conditions suggest that the disease has existed for hundreds of years. And today we're going to discuss Lidwina the Virgin, the Catholic patron saint believed to represent the very first well-documented case of multiple sclerosis. Let's have some fun. There are a lot of historical descriptions of medical conditions that people have speculated could be consistent with multiple sclerosis, but Lidwina the Virgin is the case that's very well documented and highly consistent with multiple sclerosis that's widely regarded as the earliest known case of nearly definitive multiple sclerosis. Of course, we can never say for sure, and I got this information from a lot of different sources, some of which may not be that rep. And I want to give a special thanks to Dr. Jock Murray, who wrote the book Multiple Sclerosis, The History of a Disease, an excellent resource if you want to learn about the history of multiple sclerosis. And it's where I got most of the information from this video. And there is Dr. Murray on the upper right. So Lidwina of Shadam, or Lidwina the Virgin, lived between 1380 and 1433. She was born in Holland and was one of nine children and the daughter of a laborer. And she was known to be very religious, and at age 12, she vowed to remain a pious virgin. And her father apparently declined many marriage proposals from good suitors. At age 15, her illness began. So she had a fall while ice skating and broke a rib, but she never recovered. Now, retrospectively, her illness after the fall was really not consistent with a broken rib because she was profoundly disabled for a very long period of time, which would be unusual from just a fall with a broken rib. For instance, she had difficulty walking and used furniture for support. Now, what people think may have happened is she may have had thoracic myelitis, inflammation of the spine in the area of the chest, which can actually cause a banding or tightening that could be mistaken for a broken rib. It's hard to diagnose a broken rib if you don't have an x-ray machine. And you could easily mistake her injuries for something else. And actually that occurs often with multiple sclerosis in modern times, that someone has an injury that is actually attributed to sort of an orthopedic injury. But actually what may have happened to Lidwina is she may have had a little bit of weakness or incoordination in her legs that caused her to fall. And what was attributed to the broken rib was actually transverse myelitis related pain. She also was noted to have lancinating or sharp pain in the teeth, which is potentially consistent with a disorder known as trigeminal neuralgia or pain in the distribution of the trigeminal nerve, which is brief and sharp and intense. And about 10% of people with multiple sclerosis have this, although it can occur spontaneously. She was blind in one eye and photosensitive in the other eye. She had weakness of both legs and the right arm. However, she had periods of improvement. At age 19, for instance, she improved and she could walk with some difficulty after being in bed for a long period of time. This is unusual for a lot of other medical conditions, but a young woman who has neurological episodes in different areas of her nervous system and recovers is consistent with multiple sclerosis. And this is a picture of uh, patron Saint Lidwina falling on ice skates. And it also has some historical significance in that it's the earliest known picture of ice skates with iron rather than bone. Older ice skates were made out of bone. Uh, this is a more modern painting of Lidwina the Virgin falling on ice skates. Now, she was described as having a split face or a hanging lip, potentially consistent with facial paralysis, and she also had loss of sensation and sores over her body, which could represent decubitus or pressure sores, uh, decubitus sores, which can occur from like profound weakness over a period of time. She had symptoms of pain, difficulty swallowing, weakness in the body, but also periods of improvement, which is atypical of other neurological disorders. Now, I'll say it's very possible she could have had another autoimmune neurological disorder Disorder, neuromyelitis optica, neurological manifestations of lupus or Sjogren syndrome, for instance, but by far the most common disease which could cause this phenotype would be multiple sclerosis. She was also said to have possible intolerance of heat, which is consistent with multiple sclerosis, UTOPS phenomenon. And later in life, maybe she had less remissions and more of a steady progression consistent with secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. And here's a picture again of Lidwina in bed being attended to. And she was seen by a famous doctor who was the physician of the Count of Holland who gave a poor prognosis and told her that the illness came directly from the hands of God and said even Galen and Hippocrates would not be able to help you. 
two legendary physicians. She was treated with leeches, but she was really discouraged from seeking treatment, said that, told that nothing would really work for her. And this is another picture of her in bed. I blocked it out just because it's she's not covered. In there. And Lidwina has a lot of significance in Catholicism. And if there are any Catholic viewers who are very religious and have a lot of knowledge of Lidwina, I'd like to know uh, your perspective on this. She was said to have survived prolonged fast that would kill a normal person. She performed miracles at her bedside. And she believed that she was called upon to suffer for the sins of others. She had visions of purgatory and heaven. But she also experienced religious ecstasies during which she would temporarily improve in vision and mobility. And some people even doubted the realness of her injury because of these improvements. Even though she was in very poor shape and had a lot of skin breakdown and things like that and should have smelled foul, she was said to give off a fragrant perfume and her room emitted a mysterious glow. One report said that she survived only on communion for the last 19 years of her life and did not sleep at all for the last seven years. And this is a Catholic depiction of Lidwina the Virgin. And she is now known as the patron saint of ice skaters and the chronically ill, and her tomb is a place of pilgrimage for some Catholics. And in 1890, several hundred years after her death, Pope Leo VIII officially canonized her, and her feast day is April 14th. And this is a modern reconstruction of Lidwina the Virgin, and this is actually based on her uh, grave, which was exhumed so that her bones could be analyzed, and they made her face from a depiction from, you know, descriptions of her and what her skull bones looked like. An analysis of the limb bones seemed to be compatible with paralysis of the legs and the right arm, so she certainly wasn't faking her illness. So I want to know, what do you think about this story? Do you believe that this is really the first case of multiple sclerosis? And again, if you are Catholic or have special knowledge of this area, I'd be interested to know your comments. And if you have any questions or requests for future videos, please post in the comments below.